first thing would be the you know a couple turnovers uh, in the game, and when you have those, you know you're probably not going to have your best scoring output. You know, one of the turnovers came at the one yard line; the other one came in the fringe. You know, as we're getting into the red area, so those those are um, those are things that that can prohibit you from from scoring a lot more points than we did. And and fortunately, you know, it was the first time in a while that you know we lost the turnover battle and we still won the game. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, more than anything else, he'd been practicing well. He kicked well in his workout and uh, felt comfortable with, with the week he had. So those, those are the main things. No, we, we knew that, you know, there were a few things, and they do a good job defensively of, of playing defense out of a seven, seven and a half man front. And so we felt like we needed to um, be able to establish a running game and, you know, uh, I was pleased we, we were able to do that. Uh, it was one of our a uh, little bit more consistent outings that way, and I, I, thought, I thought that was important. Yeah, I, th I thought it helped us as it pertained to our third down conversions again because, I, you know, there was a few third and longs, but there weren't many. You know, they played hard. Um, and, you know, both are relatively new to our program, and, and uh, they were a big part of the win. Uh, you know, just trying to really closely look at every aspect of the process and, uh, you know, I, I think more than anything else, we had enough time to, to, to get three good days in. Chase has been someone that's been doing it and it was just a matter of saying, hey, let's uh, free up Thomas a little bit here and, and uh, but, but, but it shouldn't be looked at as an indictment on what Thomas was doing. You know, his holds were good. I just, I just wanted to shake it up really and change it. No, no. Well, yeah, it forced us first with Roman being out. Um, our plan was going to go into play, you know, a fair amount of Pearson Prelew and be flexible enough to have Chris Reese ready and Osama Young ready. And initially it was going to be Prelew and then Osama a little bit in the nickel. And when Pearson got injured and then Chris shortly thereafter got injured, uh, you know, it, it became really uh, Osama's role then exclusively. So, um, you know, it's always challenging when, when you have some injuries like that. And, it, and it, once in a while, they come at one position, you know, and all of a sudden you're, you're possible play away from, you know, putting another player back there in a position he doesn't normally play. And, and that's part of the challenge with just the 46 active on game day. Pardon? Well, I, I think more than anything else, you know, you're, you're going to have some drops. I, I think more importantly, the, the turnovers are the things that we keep stressing. But, uh, but again, I, you know, I, like I told them, this is a, this is a big win. This is a, it's a division game at home, and uh, and I was pleased with the way they fought back and hung in there. Go ahead, Mike. Well, the two, I mean, they're, they're, they're good runners, you know, and, and they, they're guys that, I tell you what, they, they do a good job with. If you pursue the run just exactly right, they, they can sense that, put their foot in the ground, and then cut back. And so plays that may look like uh, just a simple power play turn into a scissors play, you know, a redirect, or a, and they're very good at that. And it's one of their strong suits. Both of them are, are extremely difficult as far as their balance and vision. And, uh, you know, I thought f for the most part our guys did a good job of tackling and, and you know, there's, there's going to be a few big plays like that, and, and, uh, but, but we hung in there. No, I probably wouldn't have gone to Thomas. We just, you know, I think you're at home here. We just get a, a mark on the field where we feel comfortable with and then, you know, we go with it. Um, and so, you know, are we at that mark or inside of it? We'll potentially kick a field goal, and if we're outside of it, we're probably, you know, trying to get inside the mark. But, um, but he had a good week of practice, and uh, you know, he's he's someone as a team guy. Um, he'll do a great job, uh, just as he did a year ago, uh, in not only helping the players around him, the long snapper, the holder, Garrett. Uh, he's he's very unselfish, 
and it's one of the things that attracted us to signing him again. Yeah, I, th I felt, I f you know, we didn't stay away from anything. You know, we moved well. We threw our nakeds. We moved the pocket. Um, stride and everything looked good, and I know we felt good. So, um, you know, we, we had the one big big play. We ended up getting the interference call that led to a score. Uh, that brought it, brought it down to the one. Um, but I, I thought he threw it pretty well. You know, I don't know. I, I certainly, there's things you don't do, but we've we've uh, played without him before. It seems to be that there's more attention this time around than than prior when he was injured. And I think maybe that's because this is a set four to six week injury where before it was uh, he was inactive. He's hurt. He didn't play in that game. So um, you know, it's like anything else. You make your adjustments and. and it's hard to say who's getting those specific touches, whether they're Lance, Shockey, Dave Thomas, or another running back or receiver. But, um, you know, we've had to operate before without them. So it's, it's, not, uh, it's not anything new. And, and certainly you want to be healthy, but it's part of the, part of the game. Yeah, I, you know, I'm hopeful. I was hopeful this week. Uh, you know, he's a running back, so obviously, uh, he's going to have to plant and move on it. Um, uh, you know, he made good progress, but uh, both he and Roman weren't healthy enough to, to go or, or else would have played him. Well, he's a versatile player and he's a smart player. So that and, and his consistency a year ago, but, he, you know, he knows his assignment. He knows his pickups. He can catch the ball. I thought he played physical today. There's a few plays you guys saw on our sideline where, you know, I, for a player who's coming off an injury, that's very encouraging. That's kind of getting back on the horse, if you will. And this was really his first game back when, when you really go back through in, in the regular season and, and, and a guy like that coming off a, an injury. But I, I thought uh, he, he brought some toughness and I thought it was contagious to our sideline, to our offense. All right, thank you.